Well, after a near-perfect weekend, the Griffins are still in the playoff hunt in the Central Division standings as tonight they get sent to do battle with the Cleveland Monsters here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland, Ohio. A game you'll hear on Wood Radio beginning with pregame coverage at 645. Well, the Griffins are 10 points back of both Rockford and Iowa with 14 games to go. Rockford won last night. Iowa, the Griffins got some help with the Wild losing out in Palm Springs, and they've got two games in hand on the Wild. So you can do all the math you want. The Griffins, if they go 11-3 and in their last 14, that would mean Iowa would need to go 6-6. Six and six. You can't worry so much about your opponent. you got to pretty much control your own destiny. Yeah, we're playing well the past, uh, you know, good weekend last weekend. And, uh, yeah, just focusing uh, on our game. Uh, keep building off uh, the success we had last weekend and control what we can control. And, and that's pretty much it. And, yes, the Griffins are playing some better hockey, earning uh, five of a possible six points this past weekend and finishing it off with a 3-1 win at Chicago on Sunday. Alex Nedeljkovic was... In net, uh, that's the building in which Nedeljkovic led Charlotte to a Calder Cup a couple of years ago. And Nedeljkovic has become uh, pretty much a regular in the National Hockey League over the last couple of years. You almost forget that that was his 100th American Hockey League win. Yeah, yeah, um, it's pretty special. You know, it's uh, obviously a big number, and uh, uh, I've come a long way since my first year. Um, and it, pretty rewarding to see, you know, just how far I've come, I think. And lots more to accomplish for Alex Nedeljkovic from his AAA days here in Cleveland to the OHL Goal of the Year in 2014 to American Hockey League Goal of the Year in 2019 when he won that cup with Charlotte and then his rookie season in the NHL, uh, league leading 1.9 goals against all rookie team in the NHL. Lots more to come, no doubt, for Alex Nedeljkovic. Another guy that knows something about playing in the National Hockey League is uh, Austin Zarnick just came back from the Red Wings and also knows a lot about the Griffins' power play and its inconsistencies. But it's been pretty good here of late, though, with the seven goals in the last five games, at least one in each of those five games. Yeah, I think uh, it's just been simple. I think uh, we were overcomplicating things. We weren't confident uh, when it was going bad. So I think now the, are good, got, the guys are getting some confidence here and, you know, just getting pucks tonight and get things wrapping. Griffins also get Matt Luff back after a very brief stint with the uh, Red Wings as they get sent to do battle with the Monsters tonight. The seventh of eight meetings between the two clubs. They look for their first. First win here, Griffins are 0-2 and have been outscored 9-3 in the two games in this building. A key to beating Cleveland, without a doubt, stay out of the penalty box. Monsters have the third best power play at 23%. Busy week for the Griffins now as they'll travel to Milwaukee tomorrow and get ready for a home-and-home with the Admirals in Milwaukee Saturday and back to Van Andel Arena on Sunday.